what makes America the greatest country in the world. Soldiers, sailors, Marines, airmen. Stood up for what was right. First step in solving any problem is recognizing there is one. It's time we started talking. Dream isn't something we talk about. All we can ever do for our heroes is remember them. And they gave up two lives. The one they were living in and the one they would have lived. They gave up everything for our country, for us. Let's pray for freedom and justice. Only be a war if soldiers are willing to fight. Less than 1% of Americans serving in uniform. Some veterans not getting the time they care that they need. The good news is, is that in recent years, we've made historic investments to boost the VA budget. What is it? Why should we care? We should care about press freedom. Because we were informed. In democratic societies, free, diverse, and pluralist media enable public debates and are essential checks on power. You don't look power. satisfied. Let's discuss. Hey guys, uh, we want to touch on a little bit of uh, controversial topic uh, using uh, pot cannabis uh, when suffering from PTSD uh, symptoms. So it's not so clear uh, yet. Uh, if you can get prescription or uh, get some kind of an opinion from your psychiatrist if you can use pot or not, we're just going to give you some uh, studies and our ideas on that. Yeah, but this is definitely new. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about uh, a study uh, done by Marcel uh, von Miller, PhD, and Glenn Russo, PhD that they talk about in that study, you can see a link on the screen. Uh, it's uh, on a VA website as well. So what they, and they talk about like, cannabis use for medical conditions. So, yeah, so marijuana use for medical conditions is an issue of growing concern. Some veterans use marijuana to relieve symptoms of PTSD and several states specifically approve the use of medical marijuana for PTSD. However, controlled studies have not been conducted to evaluate the safety or effectiveness of medical marijuana for PTSD. So there, there is no evidence at this time that marijuana is an effective treatment for PTSD. In fact, research suggests that marijuana can be harmful to individuals with PTSD at this moment. Yeah, myself, I strongly disagree with that, but we get to rely on studies especially when it's done by some, uh, somebody from VA. Yeah. So, marijuana use has increased over the past decade for sure, especially if you've been in California, you have to be aware of it. In 2013, a study found that 19.8 million people report using marijuana in the past month, with 8.1 million using almost every day, and daily use has increased 60% uh, in the prior decade. A number of factors are associated with the increased risk of marijuana use, including diagnosis of PTSD, social anxiety disorder, other substance abuses, and uh, partic particularly with uh, youth and pure substance. Or yeah, pure sub. So, what are like what is the use of uh, cannabis among veterans? Yeah, so there hasn't, uh, there's been no study of marijuana use in the overall in the veteran population. What we do know comes from looking at data of veterans using VA healthcare, who may not be uh, the representatives of, you know, overall veteran populations when considering the subset of veterans seen in the VA healthcare with co-occurring PTSD and substance use disorders, caps, uh, cannabis use uh, has been where did I go? Use disorder has been the most diagnosed. Um, right, let's do from the beginning. Yeah, all right. So, what is uh, cannabis use uh, among veterans that we know by VA? So, there has been no study of marijuana use in the overall veteran population. What we do know comes from looking at data of veterans using VA healthcare who may not be representative of veterans overall. When considering the subset of veterans seen in VA healthcare with co-occurring PTSD and substance, uh, substance use disorders, cannabis use disorder has been the most diagno diagnosed substance use disorder since 2009. The percentage of veterans in VA with PTSD and substance use disorder who were diagnosed with cannabis use disorder increased from 13% in 2009 to 14% in 
in 2002 to 20 uh, to 22.7% in 2014. As of 2014, there are more than 40,000 veterans with PTSD and uh, substance use disorder seen in VA diagnosed with cannabis use disorder. So you see how VA treats it. It's a cannabis use disorder, so which definitely has to change. Yeah, I definitely don't look at that as a massive drug like the others. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, and uh, trends, if you're looking at the scale, uh, would be uh, uh, definitely pro-cannabis. Uh, what VA sees, like the cannabis on the high side, probably uh, opioids, amphetamines, and cocaine on the low side, especially uh, amphetamines. So, which tells me that people use cannabis, it helps them in some way. Of course, it's not a medical statement, <laughs> some way. So what are the problems associated with uh, cannabis use? So marijuana use is associated with medical and psychiatric problems. These problems may be cause, caused by using, but they also may reflect the characteristics of people who use marijuana. Medical problems include chronic bronchitis, and normal brain development among uh, early adolescent, and impairment in short-term memory motor coronation, and the ability to perform complex uh, psychiatric motor skills tasks such as driving. Uh, psychiatric problems include uh, psychosis impairment and cognitive ability. Uh, quality of life can also be affected through poor life satisfaction, decreased educational attainment, and increased sexual risk attaining behavior. Chronic marijuana use also can lead to addiction with an established and clinically significant withdrawal syndrome. Yeah, so those are the problems that VA actually sees right now with uh, uh, cannabis use. Even though there is a huge, huge population and huge amount of veterans who uses it, and uh, I'm pretty sure they voice their concern to doctors to get uh, probably a, a cannabis as prescription for their PTSD instead of uh, some kind of uh, know chemical drugs there is still those factors that uh, that somehow influence VA so uh, we're not going to talk about uh, active ingredi ingredients like THC, CBD, CBN, CBG but uh, definitely uh, VA is aware of those alkaloids in uh, uh, cannabis, but I guess there are not a lot of studies uh, conducted by the uh, I'm pretty sure there, is, there are a ton of studies uh, from uh, uh, major universities in the US. Somehow they didn't get to VA yet. <laughs> I don't know why. So, uh, can uh, cannabis be a treatment for PTSD? What we believe. <laughs> the belief that marijuana can be used to treat PTSD is limited to anecdotal reports from individuals with PTSD who say that the drug helps with their symptoms. There have been no randomized control trials necessary to give a gold standard for determining efficiency. Uh, the administration of oral CBDs has been shown to decrease anxiety in those with and without clinical anxiety. This work has led to the development and testing of CBD treatments for individuals with social anxiety, but not yet among individuals with PTSD. With respect to THC, one open trial of 10 participants with PTSD shown THC was safe and well tolerated and resulted in a decrease in hyper arousal symptoms. Again, guys, that's how VA looks at it. I don't, my belief that they just don't look at the right studies or somehow they just for some reasons, they don't want to conduct those studies. Yeah. Um, There's certainly something there, though. Yep. Um, so, what are clinical recommendations, again, by VA? So, by the VA, treatment providers should not ignore m marijuana use in their PTSD patients. The VA DOD PTSD Clinical Practice Guidelines of 2010 recommend providing evidence-based treatments for individual disorders current uh, concurrently. PTSD providers should offer education about problems associated with long-term 
marijuana use and make a referral to a substance use disorder specialist if they do not feel they have expertise in treating substance use. Individuals with uh, comorbid PTSD and substance use disorder do not need to wait for a period of um, abstinence before addressing their PTSD. A growing number of studies d demonstrate that these, these patients can tolerate trauma-focused treatment and that these treatments do not worsen substance use outcomes. Therefore, providers have a range of options to help improve the lives of patients with the co-occurring disorders. So for more information, see PTSD and substance use disorders and veterans. And just click on that little link right there mm -hmm. and check it out and see what you guys think about it. Yeah, and we'll give you all the references from this, this study. Just, um, um, just to give you guys an idea why VA doesn't want to prescribe uh, cannabis right now, those are uh, those are their uh, ideas or opinions on why they shouldn't do that. So at least you would know why the doctor tells you, no, I'm not going to give you a uh, cannabis prescription. Yeah. And one of the doctors I've talked to at the VA told me once that the problem with cannabis use over, say, like aspirin is that there's a lot of knowledge when it comes to, say, here, take two aspirin, and they have a good idea what those two aspirin are going to do to you. When it comes to marijuana use, they're not sure if it, and if you have a headache, do you take two puffs? Do you smoke the whole joint? Do you eat a part of a brownie or a whole brownie? How much does that brownie have to weigh? There's no, there's nothing there to kind of help them guide to give you a, a prescription to say this is how much you need. And so it's hard for a doctor to give you a prescription if he doesn't know what you need. I don't know, I see this as an excuse. Yeah, that's what I was told. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it.